Hello again, is the Digital Goja showrooms. Here's a question asked by advanced users about the Nikon D500. If this video helps you out, remember to hit us up with a like button underneath, and as always, subscribe to our channel for future unboxing sessions and frequently asked questions just like this. And also to share with fellow photographers. And don't forget, when in Miami, visit Digital Goja showrooms. Does it offer HDR mode? Yes, it does. Again, this is more of a prosumer or pro-oriented. Notice in our folder where it has the camera folder, you got to go pretty much towards the end to go to high dynamic range settings. And you can do a single one. See, if we go here, you can do a single photo or you can do a series. If you do a series, it actually will stop shooting it until you come into the menu and switch it to off. So it'll just continue doing HDR mode until you come into the menu itself and you can't do it with the touchscreen. That's one thing that the touchscreen doesn't allow you to do. So you do have to use the little joystick design that's been around for quite a while. And then you can also check here and change your exposure differential, whether you want one, two, or three exposure values or set it to automatic but it does give you the capability. And you also have your smoothing mode where you can do low, normal, or high. So they thought of everything, and we know that there's a lot of people nowadays doing HDR, and of course Nikon didn't want to leave that out on their new flagship in the crop sensor series.